It was St. Patrick's Day on the Isle of Sodor. Spencer the Silver Engine was gloating in the sidings with the other engines. Oh, you see, said Spencer, I am one of the finest engines in the world, probably the finest in the galaxy. You see, my silver paint is so invincible, and no one will be able to see it when I'm going at a thousand miles an hour. But Spencer was only joking, as he could only go 120. At Wellsworth Station, his special coach was waiting with the Duke and Duchess of Boxford waiting inside the coach. You might want to be careful, said Hank. That track looks very tricky. Yeah, you might want to take Hank's advice into consideration, said Henry. Otherwise, you might be in trouble. Oh, and don't forget to fill up on water. Remember the time you ran out of water on my hill, said Gordon. Yeah, what about that time you, you raced by so quick that you knocked Sir Top Hat's hat off? Oh, don't be silly, said Spencer. I've got plenty of water, thank you very much. And Spencer popped arrogantly away. But Hank was right. The switches were jammed, and they were right against Spencer. Just like a scene out of a movie, Spencer flipped over his side. Help! cried Spencer, but it was too late. He crashed up the rails and landed on his side. He slid right to the end of the other side of the track. It was a tragic disaster. Help, said Spencer in a very silent voice. When he was lifted back on the rail, Sir Tom had spoke severely to Spencer. Spencer, I've heard of your arrogant shenanigans. You should know better and take advice into consideration, said Sir Tom Hatt, and Sir Tom Hatt left. Spencer took Sir Tom Hatt's words seriously. Well, a lot of things have happened to me over the past year. I've seen ghosts and... Now this, maybe I'm seeing things, said Spencer. But Spencer, deep inside himself, was not so sure about Timothy the Ghost Train. But that's another story.